Cataract in one eye only. What you should do in this case? What type of eye oil is better to select? Should you do surgery on your second eye and if so, when? Should it be done immediately after the first eye or you can postpone it? In many cases, they will need a second surgery. It is the most important question in an um, eye oil selection process. Don't hesitate to ask your doctor more questions about and it is something which will help you to get the maximum out of your sight. Hi there, my name is Alexey and you are at Eye Surgery Explained channel. As you might know, the cataract is an aging process and normally cataract is formed in the two eyes simultaneously. But in some cases it could be traumatic cataract or for whatever reason cataract is formed in one eye a way earlier than in another eye. And that's why it seems to be evident that you don't need a surgery on two eyes. But there are some circumstances when you definitely need a second eye surgery even if it's still a healthy natural lens. And I will explain what type of lenses it's possible to select in this case, what, how to deal and so on. For instance, if you have a absolutely normal eye in terms of refraction, so you never use the glasses for uh, far vision and um, you are, uh, let's say, at any age uh, which is not still affected by presbyopera, uh, you might leave the second eye as is and I strongly recommend you don't touch second eye if it is not necessary. But honestly, if your second eye have a hyperopia or myopia more than one, one and a half diopters, and especially if, the, if it is a hyperopia, you honestly wouldn't have a lot of choice to keep it as is. Because in majority of cases, your eye with a cataract will be calculated for so-called emetropia, for far vision, for uh, being, uh, being free of refractive errors. And if it is the case, and your second eye has either some minus or plus, in majority of cases, you will be simply uh, feel a big discomfort with the two, di uh, two different refractive outcomes in your eyes. And many patients doesn't, uh, don't tolerate this, and in many cases, they will need a second surgery just to make uh, both eyes equal. It might be not the case for people with uh, a low or mild, uh, mild myopia of about minus 2, minus 3, which is a condition when you can read without glasses up close. And uh, in case of your uh, one eye operated with a monofocal lens calculated at similar amount of uh, myopia at, let's say, about minus 3, if it is your decision and you discuss it with the surgeon, your visual needs and you decided to go with a monofocal calculated for near vision, it's also the case when you might keep the second eye untouched because you will have similar visual outcomes with uh, minus three, which is more or less use useful or let's say, which is absolutely useful for reading. And in any other cases, in vast majority of cases, you will need to do the second eye simply because of refractive discomfort, because you will be not happy with your vision. Well, uh, honestly, it is an option to use a contact lenses. And theoretically, you might use a glasses we, uh, in case it's not a big difference in diopters between the eyes. But again, do you really need a contact lens to put on one eye and leave uh, with second eyes operated? It is up to you. It is possible. But honestly, if it is a big refractive error and the big difference between the eyes, you would not have any choice. Well, I hope it is clear. If something is not, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below and I will try to explain you to the best of my knowledge to help you to understand your visual options better, to help you to understand uh, what type of eye oil you might select and so on. So I'm here to help and let's move to the second question. What type of eye oil you might select for your single eye, for your first eye, if you're undergoing the cataract surgery in case of only one eye affected? The question is a bit complicated because, uh, first of all, you might know already that we have four basic eye oil types. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I encourage you to see my recent videos, uh, which I recorded about four weeks ago. So I will put the link here and in the description below to explain what types of eye oils do we have today. And what type of eye oil you should put in this case would depend on your visual needs first your age, because your age will define how your second eye will be functioning now and in next 5, 10, 20 years, whatever, depending on your current age. Theoretically, you might put any type of eye oil into your cataract affected eye, but you have to consider what are your visual comes, outcomes will be with that eye oil how your second eye will be uh, working with that lens. We already discussed different refractive outcomes and all this stuff. 
So in this case, it's better to consult with your eye care professional about your visual outcomes. And the most important, to avoid discussion of I will type or model or whatever, just start with the simple words. Doctor, I want to see. And now, after these words, I want to see, try to explain to your doctor how exactly what to see. What uh, what you'd like to do with your eyes? What you'd like to, how would you use your eyes? Uh, what is your occupation? What are you going to do? What is your hobbies? Whatever lifestyle? And try to focus on two aspects. The first one is, would you like to be a spectacle free at certain distances, either near, intermediate, and or far and the second one which is important and which is in many cases are missed uh, out of the equation in, during the conversation with the doctor is a simple question uh, doctor would my vision quality my vision acuity will be better same or worse versus my current condition what i experienced now before the surgery or maybe what I experienced, let's say, 10 years ago before my disease. So please focus on these questions. Think about your age, because if you're at age 40 plus, your second eye will decrease ability to accommodate, to focus on near object. And maybe, maybe in that case, it's better to put kind of ad advanced monofocal lens or presbyopia correcting lens of different times to mitigate the loss of accommodation of second eye. And in, a, in another case, probably it makes sense to put a monofocal lens if you're, if you're still young. But I think it's a bad idea because if you're young today in, let's say, 20, 30 or whatever years, you will still face with a presbyopia and uh, the best way is to put a kind of IOL which is presbyopia mitigating or presbyopia correcting to be uh, let's say on a safe side when you will have a developed presbyopia and the third question what you should do if you have already one IOL of any type in your one eye and in a few years after the surgery your second eye needs cataract surgery or for whatever reason, you need to replace your natural lens. So the question is, should you go with the same lens as you have in your one eye or should you put another type of lens? And the question, first of all, is absolutely subjective. It's up to you. First, try to close. Let's assume that I has an eye oil and that is not. So simply close one eye and ask yourself, are you satisfied? Are you happy with your visual acuity in, uh, in different distances? Far? intermediate which it could be your computer or your working distance if you're working with your hands and near about your reading with your smartphone books whatever you read second measure is a vision quality in dim light conditions are you okay on sunny day and if so are you okay during the night time do are you okay driving if you're driving a car uh, simply close your eye for a few seconds if it is a safe place and see is it okay for you or you want something to improve and if everything is fine with you are you and you're absolutely happy with that lens the best solution you can do for your second eye is to put the same lens into the second eye if you are not happy for whatever reason if you're not happy with the range of vision we from your uh, eyes uh, at certain distance or you're not happy with night vision or whatever it is a possibility for you to improve your vision by putting another type of eye well to the second eye in this case again you should uh, refer to four main eye well types available you have to discuss with your doctor two aspects first you should discuss the eye well type they have and um, the visual outcomes you want to get and once you discuss the visual the IOL type especially if you're talking about monofocal or enhanced monofocal and if you are not happy with your far vision or you're not happy with near vision uh, anyway discuss a so-called refractive target how your second eye well will be calculated because uh, for some lenses you have limited ability to see up close without glasses and i talked about this issue about uh, so-called defocal score and behavior of different lenses uh, versus refractive target in my other videos so i will put the link here and and here as for you if you're interested in so please discuss with your doctor refractive target in case you have some limitations um, with that eye well and you want to achieve something better with another eye well honestly the eye well selection process is a bit complicated nowadays because we have number of eye well options uh, we have four eye well types we have um, about four to five eye well mo models inside of every type from major brands nowadays and it's a bit complicated to fit everything to the particular patient needs the best way to my experience is to have a dedicated clinical staff who will uh, dedicate time to help patients to understand everything in majority of cases is not possible because it's relatively expensive to have the people and uh, surgeon's time is very expensive so if you will need kind of advice or you'll need uh, professional consultation about eye well selection in order to what to discuss with your doctor for final decision you have two options 
questions you can ask me either in the comments below and i will try to shortly explain you and direction where to go and the second option you may ask me for my personalized technical consultation about the iol types about the iol models and i will help you to be prepared for discussion with your doctor what what is the right questions to ask what to focus on and we will have a let's say short list of lenses to discuss with your doctor based on your particular visual needs so if you'll need my help all the information in the description to this video don't hesitate to ask your doctor more questions about visual acuity at different uh, distances about visual quality in dim light conditions and how you would compare it with that lens and how you would compare with your visual experience with your best visual experience before the disease it is the most important question in the um, eye oil selection process and it is something which will help you to get the maximum out of your sight please don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me thumbs up and see you next video bye